the same guys that I watched during my first day here. They're just way too cute, right? Look at them. Hey guys, it's me Pia Pai again, back with another video. And this time, I'll be telling you all about my stay in a land known for its beers and castles, Prague, Czech Republic. Disclaimer, this vlog was taken before the pandemic when the world was bustling with travelers wandering from place to place. Having a job like mine, I can definitely say that I have been blessed to be able to travel the world without pinching pennies. Prague was one of the few new destinations we had back in 2018. So when we finally opened the flight for us, I took advantage right away. The rostering assigned me to Prague twice that February, so naturally, it was hard to contain my excitement to finally see it in person. The first place I wanted to visit was the Old Town. Living in a world with advancing technology, navigation has never been easier. So the odds of getting lost are close to zero. However, although I've started to get used to traveling alone by then, I got unlucky once I got lost for about 30 minutes before I finally got to the train station. It was tough, but I'm grateful for that learning experience. By the way, the footage you're seeing now is from when I just started vlogging. And that takes practice and experience, so I hope you don't mind the weird angles. It still buffles me when crowds used to be this dense before the pandemic. When everyone was craving to experience and explore new places. Although people still feel the same now, it's a lot harder given the public health and social measures which makes me miss the old times. Anyway, here you'll witness lots of street performances like this. to was the Charles Bridge, a medieval stone arch bridge that crosses the Moldau River in Prague. The bridge is decorated by a continuous alley of 30 statues and statuaries, most of them Baroque style, originated erected around 1700 
but now all have been replaced by replicas. It was quite busy place with people crossing the bridge itself, some taking photos and some selling various items on the streets. Based on my research, they started renovating the bridge in 2019, so I'm pretty lucky I got to see the place before it went through the changes. The weather was a quite freezing temperature of 2 degrees Celsius, so I decided to end the trip earlier than planned as my hands were freezing and I had been outdoors for 5 hours. Filming until the middle part of the bridge, I didn't make it until the end. But anyway, maybe I'm just gonna come here during summertime. But I still have another crag next week, so hopefully I'm gonna be able to reach till the end. That's it for now, guys. <laughs> I need to buy some lunch actually because I'm not even taking any lunch yet. I've been out for like what five hours in this negative two uh, degree weather. I just need to find a place to feel warm and eat something because I'm also starving. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Prolo. Yeah, it says Prolo. Let's see. During my second time here, I wanted to eat somewhere new and different before touring around the city. So I went to this shop known for serving beer from a faucet. Here's a fun fact. This place was actually a butcher shop before it got converted into a small but homey restaurant we see today. Additionally, they serve sausages and bakery products and let you pick your own spot to eat at. After a hearty meal at the shop, I headed out to explore the city. I passed by the old town and noticed that there were more people present than I had previously visited the week before. One great thing about Prague is that almost all of the shops have Wi-Fi, so staying connected for directions is a breeze. I also passed by Charles Bridge a second time which had become more crowded than the last time. I've always wondered how it's like here during summer. I bet there will be a lot more to find since this destination is already pretty famous for the unique experiences it has to offer. By then, I had been walking for about 3 hours and every time I'd find a nice area, I would pause and take pictures. With all the people around, it's nearly impossible to get a decent solo photo, which made me understand why lots of people arrive as early as sunrise, so they could make the most of the place. The next stop I went to was the Lenin Wall. A once typical wall that became filled with John Lennon inspired graffiti, lyrics from the Beatles songs, and designs relating to local and global causes. It was a marvel, but I couldn't stay too long as it was freezing, and I usually try my best not to get sick, especially given my job. 
Before I arrived at my next destination, I found an angle of the Charles Bridge that let me see the bridge in its view. The view was stunning, even better than the last time I was here. But the weather was bad and I had to leave early again, which got me wishing for an extended layover so I could see more of the place. I went to Prague Castle. Before you could reach the top, you would need to walk up a few steps. You probably don't see it but I was already starting to freeze here again. However, determined to get to the top of the castle, I kept going and going and it was all worth it. Although there were a lot of people there and the wind was almost unbearably strong, the view was breathtaking. Even a camera simply cannot do its justice. If it weren't for the weather, I definitely would have gone up higher. Still, this is what I think heaven would look like. I've got it right and I got it wrong. Before heading to the last place of my itinerary, I grabbed a cup of coffee to keep warm to realize I was back at the same spot it came from without knowing its place. It's just so amazing. I wish I could stay here longer. The thing is, the weather is just not so good. We got nothing to be. On a whim, I went to see the dancing building I saw on Instagram, took a look around, and then managed to make it just in time for sunset. After a long trip, dinner and some time to unwind were just what I needed. Two cherries on top of my time in Prague. I admit that I may complain a lot about how often I have to travel and having a little time to rest. But recently, I have been more grateful than ever. With travel being restricted during the ongoing global crisis, I have come to realize that all the free time and rest I would yearn for all the time would mean nothing if I can't even see what the world has to offer. So when you get the opportunity to travel, make the most of it. The world is big. There's bound to be a place for you. Thanks for watching.